I quite often get asked, how do I get my lawn to look like a beautiful tennis court or bowling green? Now there's a lot goes into achieving this in both preparation of the soil and maintenance. To get a better idea of the science behind this, I've caught up with Mike Martens from Turf Care WA. His company constructs professional turf playing surfaces, renovates existing greens, and manages the day-to-day -day care of playing surfaces, including the prestigious Kings Park Tennis Club. Mike, you guys look after a number of beautiful turf lawns right across Western Australia, don't you? Yeah, correct. We look after about 35 tennis courts similar to this through the okay. western suburbs. We started our trade in tennis courts and mm -hmm. uh, that is a big focus of our business is, is quality and quality outcomes for our clients. I find a lot of people are asking me these days, how do I get a bowling green or tennis court quality lawn at home? It doesn't happen by accident, does it? No, it doesn't. There's a lot of work that goes into it, a lot of science behind it. It all starts with knowing what you're talking about really, I guess. Yep. We've got a lot of um, turf managers on our, on our books that are highly qualified. Yep. Um, so yes, yeah, no accident. There's a lot of work that goes into the soil. And it all starts at ground level, doesn't it, with the soil. So if you get the soil right, everything that you do after that is a lot easier. You start with the soil and you work your way up and get that soil right and, and then generally your plant will really get healthy through that. So. Now, some people think that lawn can be a water guzzler. Now, it's not, I know that, but you have to do it the right way, don't you? Yeah, correct. And the use of wetting agents and, and yeah, the right sort of play and amendments uh, in the soil definitely reduces the amount of water. We'll sort of lay the, lay the clay down, plant the grass over the top and mm -hmm. sort of grow it in that way. To get the grass to, to grow like this, maintenance must be a big issue. Yeah, so on this call we mow twice a week mm -hmm. uh, at about three millimetres. Okay. So you're really stressing the plant out on the top, so you really need those uh, amendments underneath to, to make the plant really healthy. When it comes to watering, how many times is it watered? Uh, we water this twice a week, right. um, but we look into um, longer watering sessions and less frequent. But we got the watering down here down to about um, 15 mil twice a week. Yep. That's, that's the maximum through the heat of summer. Yep. And we can bring that down to as low as 22 mil. The key to having a truly beautiful lawn is making sure you've got the soil right and the addition of kaolin clay, rock minerals and silt mixed into the soil surface so the grass can grow through that is absolutely essential. Now you can do it by buying a bag of Soil Solver Plus and putting that into your lawn. It does make the world a difference, it reduces the amount of water you use and if you maintain it like this, you'll end up with a beautiful lawn that uses less water.